kite flying, that's a life of landlubbers on the beach. Carl Robertshaw, you're the national British kite flying champion and you have been for the last couple of years. When did you start kite flying? Seriously, about three, four years ago, in 91, 92. I've always had a kite since I was about three. Three? Um, yes. Now, I'm not an expert, I can tell that your kite is a lot different to mine. What's the, what are the fundamental differences? Right, the difference between these two, you've got a single line kite, which sort of basically goes up and stays there. Harder to fly. But I've got a two line kite, so I can steer it where I want to. So I can steer it into the wind wherever the wind is. Um, I think mine's going to crash if I don't put it a bit harder. <laughs> What tips would you give to anybody who wants to fly a kite, just a single line kite like mine? And go along to a good flying site, somewhere where there, is, there aren't trees. Beach is a good place, like here. Yeah. Um, open parks, are, and away you go, you really can't fail, really. Well, I never knew kite flying was quite such an energetic sport. We've walked about a mile so far. <laughs> Woolacombe is a perfect place to fly a kite. So if you want to make your own kite, Stuart's the man. Whoa!